Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for taking the time to project your eyeballs towards your screen. For today is the day we showcase our GR, GT86, and FRS offset rack spacers and weld-in kit. Now we need to celebrate that this is the fourth installment of the kind of sort of low-key slide into those DMs all casual style official super lock series that we've been running lately, with this being only about the offset rack spacers and weld-in kit. Now in regular GK Tech fashion, let's spin up the goods like your local underpaid DJ probably has his hand to his ear as we speak. These little nugs, they give you an additional 10 millimeters of rack travel. These are also notched for your pleasure to locate that inner tie rod end and stop it from moving in any directions that it doesn't need to be going in. And more on that later. And finally, whipped up from only the finest of ingredients, it's going to be the delicious 4130 chromoly steel. Now, no thanks to Toyota, you do need to notch your subframe for clearance with these little gems to get them to fit. Those beautiful brains behind GK Tech decided if you're going to be notching your subframe, you might as well reinforce that frail old Toyota subframe while you're there. Now, these little sheets of joy are laser cut from 2mm thick steel and are perfectly contoured for where you would have cut your subframe to save you from the hassle of cutting up an old tuna can and welding that in place instead. But anyway, the half pipe and the tooth come with a template to show you exactly where you need to cut which we'll run through here in a bit now that you know exactly what you're getting let's do that install let's totally ignore that moonwalk transition and as we complained about earlier the first uncool thing toyota did was not make the subframe offset rack space friendly and the rack spacers interfere with the subframe as you can see in our cute little demo showing how and where we plan on cutting with the steering rack removed, you're going to want to measure from the steering rack's threaded mount hole 38 millimeters. Measuring from the center of the hole, perfectly horizontal to that measurement, you want to get your most favorite straight edge device and mark perfectly vertical to that with your favorite marking pen, which we prefer our own, no plug there, and simply follow the natural, beautiful contour of the top side of the GT86 subframe. Again, moving in a horizontal fashion, mark that lower side as well, because that will need to be cut and ground flat. Finally, finishing off that main mark along the bottom, and you're all mapped out, buddy. We recommend test fitting your steering rack to make sure you're well within where you need to be and not incredibly dyslexic like I am. And that you also did pay attention to your dad when he told you to measure twice and cut once and not vice versa. All right, now go ahead and get your favorite cutting apparatus, just like the preschool cut along lines here, and don't eat the glue for God's sakes. Pull that useless piece of metal out of the subframe and recycle to stop global warming somehow and collect your 0 .0006 cents. Now go ahead and fit the small tooth piece into the place that we mentioned earlier and mark exactly where that needs to go. Now get your 13th favorite cleaning tool and buzz the life out of that paint. What you're going to leave there is pure raw Japanese metal for you to work with. So get your half pipe silhouette, throw that up where it needs to go and mark that out as well. Also, buzzing the paint off of that into submission. Remember to have all the required safety gear that you need, like a welding helmet, aka something that apparently the former Prime Minister of Australia didn't need when he tried to fit in with the locals and welded without the helmet down. What a stud. Props to DK for the impersonation. It's uncanny. Now get your favorite welder and mask, throw that tooth up and tack that into position, then go ahead and grab the half pipe, throw that up and tack that gingerly into place. Now keep in mind that you want your half pipe to be as high as possible. This is importante. If you're unsure, you should absolutely tack it first, then fit the steering rack back into place to see if it clears properly. Now, if you've double checked and you have the subframe clearance and you're all tucked up and ready to rock, you're now allowed to lay those fat slugs we talked about earlier down. Now, second pro tip, you do need to keep your subframe fixed when welded to prevent warpage. The best jig is the chassis, and then make sure the subframe does not move and bend when heat is applied. You could do it out of the car, but please make sure you have a brace for the subframe before penetration as it can bend, twist, and warp, and you will be soon looking on the marketplace for your next subframe, and Lord knows you don't want to go on there for any reason whatsoever. Anyways, congrats, your subframe is notched and reinforced, and you're ready to take on the world. Spray your favorite colored paint all over the subframe you're dog, your friend, and your floor, and this part of the install is done. Fantastic job. Now you may have noticed on the rotisserie of love at the start of the video that the offset rack spaces have notches in them, but your Toyota rack doesn't. Now as your giant brain can imagine, these help locate the offset rack spacers so that they face forwards. Now we can design offset rack spacers without the notches, but when you hit your first corner at full Japanese speed and flick that sucker in, your inner tie rod will do exactly what your parents were worried you did when you dropped out of school and have absolutely no direction, which is why we need 
the notches in both spacers and rack to direct the inner tie rod in only one direction. Moving right along with your rack upright, you're going to want to use your favorite square edge and mark the rack in a vertical direction on the top and the bottom. As you can tell in our totally not cleaned up and prepared pristine version here. Now you need to ensure you're 5 millimeters wide and 5 millimeters deep as that is the same size as our notches in our offset rack spacers. What a coincidence there. Now another pro tip and an important one that your dad should be yelling at you about like holding that light. Cut less than you need as you can always cut more but you cannot cut less. Trust me, I used to give circumcisions and learn the hard way. Now get the same device I used for my surgeries and cut into the marks on the steering rack making sure you're oh so careful. You want this to sit in there as snug as a bug in a rug and not be loose at all. If you've done it right, you shouldn't have blood everywhere and you should have a perfectly notched steering rack. Mazel tov. Now let's fit everything up. Go ahead and throw the rack back up in its home, zapping those two bolts down. Now we've laid the torque specs at the bottom of the screen and this being the first time I've said that in this video makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Grab your favorite locking compound and smear that all over the offset rack spacer bolt and slide that through the guts of the offset rack spacer, which should be facing forward and wind that on down to the torque specs shown on the screen. God, that feels so much better. And now it's time to do what we should have done with the vaccine before giving it to f***ing everyone and test your steering rack spacers first to make sure there's enough clearance and everything is A-OK. -okay. And another pro tip to squeeze in here to make sure that all is well and there's no overhang from your inner tie rod end depending on which brand you're using. This may be overlooked and if you cut it right on the edge of where you said it might overhang, it might cause damage and breakage. And the absolute last thing you need to do when playing with your steering rack is make sure it is centered otherwise you will have a bad time. We cover all that fun stuff in the video that is shown on your very screen. So peep that if you want your steering rack to be centered like my chi. And guess what guys? You've successfully installed the offset rack spacers whilst, mind you, reinforcing your subframe. How sick is that? That wraps this one up with the three dudes that threw this together. And if you still can't do this, please reach out and have a professional do it or contact us with any questions you may have. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, and Flashburn Blind DK with another Emmy winning how to. Peace.